So today I want to talk about different monitor setups that you can use for productivity and all of these things you can get at your local micro center. Now, when I talk about monitor setups for productivity, I'm talking about your home office or even your office, you know, at the office. But I wanna talk about what do you need for a monitor for productivity? Well, the answer is actually just a couple of simple things. For instance, here I have two Dell 2425HS monitors, and these are twin monitors side by side for a dual monitor setup. These are ideal for productivity because they're 1080, they're 100 hertz, which is actually kind of nice for when you're dragging windows around. Uh, they're IPS panels, so the colors are gonna look pretty nice, and they're decently priced. So if you wanna get a bunch of these, pretty easy to do. So when it comes to office work, I mean, that's really all you need. Just a couple of simple 1080p monitors, and there you go. Once you start getting two monitors in the mix, that's where you're gonna wanna look into a monitor arm, which is what I have these monitors on here. This is a dual monitor arm that we sell at Micro Center, and this allows for both monitors to be just clamped right to your desk, which clears off a lot of real estate on your desk here. So it actually gives you more space for other things. I really like using these a lot because you can make all kinds of adjustments on the fly. For instance, you can have two monitors side by side in a horizontal orientation like this, or you could just take one and you can easily swivel and move it around. So you can have one in a vertical orientation and one in a horizontal orientation. And I'll show you how to change the orientation in Windows because obviously this is on its side. So in your display settings, you can go over here, you can scroll down to display orientation. I'm gonna go from landscape to portrait, keep changes. And I recommend changing it first before you actually rotate the monitor because if you're like me and you rotate the monitor first then you're gonna have to like kind of adjust your head <laughs> so you can move the mouse around and fix it you know you can take any window that you're using and this gives you more vertical real estate for really long documents if you have excel spreadsheets emails if you're writing something it's kind of nice to have it here on the side and then you can have your main content on this window here so it just gives you a lot more options and flexibility now, we have a wide range of different monitor arms that you can get at Micro Center, and this is just one example of something that you can do. So when it comes to productivity, two monitors is really the way to go. But what if you want to step up a little bit and get a little bigger size and a little bit more resolution? Now, for a different kind of setup, this is what we use for editing all of our videos here at Micro Center. This is actually Kevin's setup, who's operating the camera right now, and you might notice it's a little bit dark in here, right? Well, that's because when you're doing color accurate work like video editing and video color grading, you actually wanna work in a darker environment that allows your eyes to adjust to the brightness of the monitor. You're not getting any glare from anything else. A lot of creatives like working in the dark. But the thing is with these monitors, these are three ASUS ProArt monitors and these are factory calibrated for color accuracy. These are really nice monitors. And the way he has this set up is actually kind of cool. Right here is a dual monitor arm, and this allows you to stack two monitors, one on top of the other. So he has these stacked on one arm here, but then over here, this is a spring-loaded monitor arm that allows him to move this around and also swivel it between a vertical and horizontal position, depending on the kind of content that he's editing. So for instance, we have a project open here. Here's the timeline in DaVinci Resolve. Here's all of the media and other files and effects. And then here's a preview monitor so you can see what you're working on. And since this is going on social media, this gives you a full vertical preview of what that's gonna look like on someone's phone, just at a bigger scale. But then when he's working on a long form video that's at a horizontal orientation, well, you can just turn this right on its side and then you have a nice preview of what it would look like horizontally. So this is a really cool setup that we have here that's actually really ideal for creators. Now, another option you can do is actually a quad monitor setup. So we have this quad monitor arm that you can use. So you can put up to four monitors and you can put really large monitors on these. So for instance, we like using this with our test benches. So I have one test bench over here. I have another test bench over here. And then I have all of these monitors kind of hooked up. So this one's running to that bench. And then I have these three monitors running like this. Now, why do we have this set up? Well, when we're testing out different components and we're testing out different games, we wanna try out each resolution. So I have a 1080p monitor here, 1440, and a 4K monitor. So we can try out each one on one area. Now, the nice thing about this monitor mount is that each one of these monitors can be swiveled so you can turn them you know, vertically, horizontally if you really want, but I prefer to keep them all horizontal. And you can make all kinds of adjustments to the height 
of each stem, but you will need tools to make those adjustments. So that's one thing to keep in mind because this needs to be kind of strong and you don't want to use little solutions that you could do with your fingers. You're definitely going to need an Allen tool for this to make those adjustments, but it holds up these monitors really well. I mean, this is a 32 inch monitor here, this Acer Predator, and you could fit four of those easily. Now, who would use a setup for this outside of test benches? Well, I'm sure you've seen in movies, there's stock brokers that have so many monitors up simultaneously, and this is actually the kind of setup that you would see in some finance situations. So that's actually kind of perfect for those setups. Plus, I think it looks really cool. Now, one other thing I wanna call out really quickly though, for this setup, we actually drilled a hole through our desk. That way it was strong enough to secure everything here onto the desk. The way this table is set up, I wasn't able to use the clamp on there because there's kind of a ledge on that side that it wouldn't fit perfectly. So a lot of these monitor mounts come with hardware that you can mount through the desk itself, but you do have to get a drill and you do have to drill a hole. The nice thing about it is that it makes it very secure. Like this is on there really, really good. Now, the downside is, though, if you want to make any adjustments like moving it around on the desk, well, you're going to have to drill another hole. So that's something to keep in mind. So similar to our previous setup, this is another pair of twin Dell monitors. Now, this is the Dell S2725DS, which is a 27 inch 2560 by 1440 monitor. Now, these are basically the same as the previous monitors, just a higher resolution. It's still an IPS panel. It's still going to be 100 Hertz, but again, ideal for productivity. The difference with our setup here is that we have two much larger monitors on a much smaller desk. And the nice thing about monitor arms is it gives you a lot more flexibility with how you can get your monitors on your desk and fit bigger monitors on a smaller space. For instance, I have this mounted dead center here, but both monitors fit perfectly and I still have plenty of space here for other stuff because if you're working on a smaller desk, you're gonna have a lot of things with a lot of clutter. So having those monitor stands taking up space here and the feet sticking out there, that's gonna take up a lot of your space. So this actually does you pretty good. Now, the other thing about this, this is another dual monitor arm setup, but what's different about the previous one is that the previous one, you need the tools like the Allen key to make any adjustments to basically anything. This one is actually spring-loaded, so there's a counterweight here. So each monitor I can individually raise or lower, and it'll hold in place because that spring is holding that in place so it's kind of like a counterbalance and what's also nice about this is it's got kind of like a dual arm setup here so it gives you a wide range of flexibility from the center so you know if i want to spread them out like that if you want like a nicer camera and a nicer microphone you could put that right in the center you know you can have that there but the point is it gives you a lot more flexibility you could still change it so it's vertically mounted you can move things around and you can find that sweet spot that you really like. Now, you don't want your monitors up too high because that's gonna cause you neck strain if you're looking up all the time. You actually want them a little bit lower than your eye line. So you actually wanna have them just a little bit lower and that'll help you a lot in the long run. It's definitely gonna help with like strain or any other issues you would get. Now, the cool thing about this setup is it's really easy to do because there's only a couple of tools that you need to get this together as opposed to some other monitor arms where you have to do a lot of screws, a lot of Allen keys, things like that. This was actually very easy to put together. The Visa plate goes on really easily. There's already hardware on the back of the monitor, the four screws here. So the plate goes right on, snaps into place, and it even has a locking mechanism. You can make so many different adjustments on the fly. Another setup that you can do is actually with your laptop. This is a very small laptop. The screen is a little bit smaller, even though it's a good resolution and it's a really nice OLED panel. If you need some additional real estate, but you want to keep things lightweight, well, that's where a portable monitor comes in handy. So for instance, this monitor that I have here, I can actually run the power and the signal off of just one USB-C. And this Dell XPS 13 is going to use it just fine. So you just plug it in, just give it a second to recognize it, and then it'll just boot right up. Now, this is actually a really handy setup that you can use when you're on the go. So for instance, I have my spreadsheet over here, and then I can have my project proposal over here, and there you go. If you're at a coffee shop at the airport, 
It's easy to carry around. And since it's powered from the laptop itself, don't need a power brick for this at all. And it's very easy to take. And the best part is this laptop is about 2.6 pounds. Once you add this extra monitor, which is not even half a pound, everything together is about under three pounds in total. So that means you can have a dual monitor set up under three pounds that you can carry around all day. Now, one thing to keep in mind though, if you are going to get a monitor mount for your desk, well, the monitor stand that comes with your monitor, you're gonna have to store that away someplace safe. Now, a good tip that you should follow is to actually just save your monitor box because you never know if you have to ship it out or if you have to get it RMA'd or maybe you wanna sell that monitor one day or if you have to move to a new apartment or house, definitely wanna save that monitor box. So you can keep these arms and other accessories that come with your monitors in the box that it came with, but do know that you're gonna end up not using these because you'll be using a much better monitor arm on your desk. And one thing I wanna call out, this HyperX monitor that we were using on one of our setups over here actually came with its own desk mount. And this is a really nice desk mount because it's spring-loaded, so it gives kind of a counterbalance and makes it easier to move around. But the only downside is I wanted a dual monitor set up, so I had to take it off of this mount so I could put it on a dual monitor arm. So another thing to keep in mind. So when it comes to maximizing your productivity setup, well, Micro Center has got you covered. I mean, remember, we have over 120 different monitors in stock at any given time. So we will have the ideal monitor for your productivity setup, for your office, or for creative work, or for even on the go. And we can definitely get you the right monitor. But don't forget about that monitor arm. Once you get a really nice monitor, you're gonna want a really nice way to mount that to your desk and we have a wide selection available for you. So remember to stop by your local micro center and if you don't have a micro center near you, then be sure to leave a comment, hashtag I want a micro center near me.